Hey gamers, Maniacs back with another Tales from IT. Oh God, let me tell you something about this program called QuickBooks. QuickBooks is a database software. It's very system intensive and it basically is used by small businesses mostly to manage finances and databases and things like that basically. Most small businesses that I've dealt with that aren't using custom database software will usually use QuickBooks and is they like it. As far as I can tell, they like it. So I got a client recently that told me they needed me to do something for QuickBooks or do something QuickBooks related, manage their QuickBooks uh, software. And I really don't have a lot of experience with it. I don't use QuickBooks. It's not something that I've trained on. And I had to tell them that, but they said, no, well, it shouldn't be much of an issue. This is something that the software should be able to do. I need you to set up some new features. You see, he had a problem where he used QuickBooks quite a bit. All of his invoices and things like that were managed by the software, which wasn't an issue. He had it installed on his primary work PC and he could tweak it, modify it, and call up any data that he needed while he was managing it. The problem wasn't that. The problem was what happened if he needed to have an accountant come in to look at the database. Because his computer was the only one that had the software and the database on it, he couldn't do any work or accomplish. He, he basically was cut out from working while somebody was there checking on the books. What he wanted was he wanted one of his other office PCs to have some type of limited access to it so that an, if an accountant did come in, he could still manage his work and do work on his primary PC, and the accountant could access the database remotely using a guest account from a different PC in the office. That could, at least in theory, save him lost productivity. It would give more ease to the accountant or whoever would come in. Now, QuickBooks is designed for multiple client support. However, it usually requires a server. That's the best case scenario for QuickBooks. QuickBooks totally allows multiple multiple user accounts and things like that. It's built into the software, but it does require usually a server. He didn't have a server, nor was he planning on getting one so or setting one up. So I had to figure out some type of workaround. Now, this guy did have QuickBooks on speed dial. I guess he was a long-term client or something like that. So QuickBooks troubleshooting was not an issue for him. If I needed a number... If I needed anything from them, he just gave me the number and we moved on. So I call, I told, I guess this actually worked out in my favor also because, like I said, I don't have much experience. I didn't have much experience working with QuickBooks. And so when it deals with custom software like this, usually the first thing IT wants to do is contact the manufacturer or the programmer. And so that's what I did. First thing we needed was we needed a slight license for the secondary computer. There was no question about that. So I told I told QuickBooks, okay, we're gonna buy another site license, and he was willing to pay for it, so that wasn't a big a big deal. But we needed these two programs to be able to talk to each other without a server. Now, if you've ever tried to get QuickBooks talking, at least more of the more recent versions of QuickBooks talking, then you know it basically has to do with Windows file sharing. And that wasn't much of an issue to enable, but like I said, for security reasons, you usually want to have most of those features turned off. It's just a security safety feature, nothing else. Don't worry too much about it. But in his case, both of his computers were behind the same firewall. There was a firewall in place, and so I wasn't too super concerned about opening up file sharing between the two systems. After about an hour of talking to QuickBooks, first thing I had to do was after I had installed the software on the second PC, it's, it took us about an hour basically to get the file permission set up for the two program, you know, so file share, so we could do file sharing. There were still a couple of errors that we had, um, but both QuickBooks and the QuickBooks troubleshooting guy I was talking to had a list of workarounds that we could use to solve any errors that we came across during the process of getting the two programs to talk to each other. So... There was a QuickBooks troubleshooter and I had the other person on the line. Trust me, you're going to want to do this. Eventually, after about an hour to an hour and a half of work total, I booted up the uh, QuickBooks program on the secondary PC and was able to access his database file and run it. And his QuickBooks database, when he was running the file at the same time, you know, recognized, oh, there's a guest account logging in. Just a little notification. 
and we confirmed that it worked. I, I had him come and make sure that his database was there, that he could access the files and the information that he needed. And he could. He confirmed. Like I said, it's not my database, so I don't know what's in there. He'd have to confirm that the data was there. And it was there. It wasn't gibberish. It was exactly he, he had a secondary system accessed. And so I thought, okay, great. A little bit of Windows file sharing tweaks, and we got this thing up and running. Okay, I think we're all set here. And he's like... Do you have any idea what you just did? And I said, not exactly. I, 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 you needed a problem solved and I solved your problem. I, I know I don't work with QuickBooks, so it took like an hour and a half of work, but you know, I did what you told me to do. That's, is that, is that what you mean? And he told me flat out, he had been trying to work on this procedure for two and a half years. He had been meaning to get this, this type of system configured in this way. And he had not been able to at all. And I had come in and I'd solved it in an hour and a half of work. And he told me, this is going to save me so much work in lost time. You know, this is going to save me so much, so much work, you know, so much time. This is going to save me so much work. This is going to make everything easier for running my business. It's going to make the accountants happier because they can just access things from the secondary PC. This is so great. And ever since then, he, whenever he has a problem, he calls me. So I'm grateful for that. And I've got more stories for stuff I've done for him. So we'll talk about those next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I want to thank QuickBooks, obviously. Like I said, it's their software. So usually when you're dealing with stuff like that, you got to call the manufacturer. Even if you're an IT person, you're not expected to know every database and every piece of software on the planet. But they are. They're expected to know their own software, and they did. So I got to give them props for that. I never would have been able to get it working if I didn't have access to their helpline. So hope you guys enjoyed the story. I got plenty more if you guys are enjoying it. Post a comment below if you want to hear more. I've even got more with this guy. I've got more great IT stories from him. So until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care. Over and out.